Hi, my name is Ken Drinkwater. I'm one of the physical oceanographers on this cruise uh, to from uh, Bergen in Norway through to Nuuk in Greenland and back again. Uh, my colleague Svein Sundby actually did the first leg from uh, from Norway to Nuuk, and I am on the return uh, leg from Nuuk back towards Bergen. We have been and taking hydrographic measurements, that is the temperature and salinity, uh, during the during the cruise. Um, in this particular plot, you can see a uh, the map uh, showing the stations that we that we took from Bergen across through to East Greenland. Uh, the other two plots represent the temperature as a function of depth down to uh, 3,000 meters and a salinity as a function of depth. The white areas represent uh, regions where we don't have enough data to really say uh, what the characteristics are. In the Norwegian Sea, we see very warm salty waters uh, up against the Norwegian coast and this is water that is heading north and is from the uh, from the North Atlantic uh, Ocean. Uh, it's uh, about a thousand meters deep uh, near the coast and uh, shallows as uh, as we move uh, westward. In uh, once we crossed uh, in uh, into the Iceland Sea which is about in this region here uh, and extends over to, to as far as we went. Uh, in the Iceland Sea, we encountered very cold waters and that were much fresher than those we saw in the Norwegian Sea. Our purpose in terms of the hydrographic work is to try and link uh, what is happening with the uh, hydrography and the water masses with what uh, they, our colleagues find in terms of the in terms of the biology. After uh, completing that uh, transect in the Norwegian and Iceland seas, uh, the ship went into Reykjavik and uh, coming out of uh, Reykjavik, they took a transect uh, from Iceland towards southern Greenland in the region that we call the Erminger Sea. Um, in in the plots of the temperature and salinity, we can see again very warm and salty waters uh, up against the coast, uh, similar to what we saw in the Norwegian Sea. Now, this is not surprising because the origin of these two water masses uh, is actually the same, and it, it's further south in the North Atlantic. As uh, the ship moved westward uh, in the Erminger Sea, the uh, temperatures uh, cooled, uh, typically on the order of uh, four degrees or so in the in the surface, uh, down to about uh, two or less uh, at about three thousand meters. Uh, we also uh, saw evidence of um, fresher waters here at subsurface between about five hundred and thousand meters. That uh, and it's. Uh, about a little less than four degrees. And this water, we believe, comes from the Labrador Sea. Now, uh, after taking the transect in the Erminger Sea, the ship uh, moved up the west coast of Greenland, took a couple of stations, and then moved into, uh, into Nuuk, where it uh, uh, stayed for a couple of days. Coming out of Nuuk, there was a transect that was done across the shelf and out into the center part of the basin. But the transects that uh, I've plotted here uh, are along the axis of the Labrador Sea itself. And what it shows is it's hard to detect, but you can see a very shallow, uh, on the order of uh, 50 meters or so, uh, of very fresh water that actually has uh, come off the uh, West Greenland Shelf and out in towards the center part of the basin. The rest of the, um, uh, of the water column is uh, fairly, has similar uh, salinity properties. 
there is a, a slight gradient in temperature from about four degrees of the surface to uh, again less than two near the bottom at 3,000 meters. Now in the Labrador Sea you tend to get uh, wintertime convection and mixing it's, which is down it varies between years but last year it appears that it was to about a thousand meters and it's that water mass that actually made it in uh, to and flowed into the Ermager Sea. The last figure shows all three uh, uh, transects and also includes uh, the density um, and one of the things that uh, our work to date has shown is that there are links between the basins although they are uh, also quite different. Uh, in, uh, I just mentioned about the fact that the Labrador Sea water uh, flows uh, into the Erminger Sea uh, at depths of 500 to 1000 meters. Uh, there's also evidence that the uh, water from the Iceland Sea and the deep waters flow into the Erminger Sea and then around and into the Labrador Sea. And then there's the connection between the warm waters that are on the uh, eastern part of the Norwegian Sea and around um, and around Iceland as well. Uh, in the rest of the cruise, we will be conducting more sampling in the Erminger Sea and uh, in the Iceland and Norwegian seas. And and hopefully we'll be able to again link this up to the biology that's, uh, that our uh, colleagues are finding in terms of the phytoplankton and zooplankton.